What's up everybody? I'm here in the Smash Lab at the Nug Smasher Factory, um, aka the Hot Box. And we're here with the Nug Smasher IQ today, something really exciting. We're gonna do uh, two extractions, both have three and a half grams of flour in them. We're gonna do a flat extraction, a rectangle extraction, and a bottle tech style extraction on the Nug Smasher IQ. I'll show you how to do that. We'll measure the results in and out so we can see you know, what, what the better method is. Um, and uh, so stick around. We're, we're gonna use a master extractor screen on the IQ. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty neat video, so stick around, uh, stay tuned for this one. So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll do the uh, bottle tech extraction because that's quick and easy, okay? And the Nug Smasher IQ, you know, if you guys have been looking into it, amazing machine. It absolutely does everything automatically. I'm gonna do 650 material PSI in this flower that I got in the bags here. It's a 90 micron bags. I'm gonna do them both for two minutes. So I'm gonna leave everything the same except for the surface area. I'm gonna put it in a rectangle over here on the master extractor screen. The exact size is what I'm gonna do on that. So, but for now, we're gonna do the bottle tech extraction. I have it all set up. We're gonna do them both at 205 degrees. The first thing I wanna do for that is I wanna get a, uh, I'm gonna trim the, you can see the bottle tech extraction is uh, like this, cylindrical, It'll be, it's upright. That's how we, that's how I like to extract flour. If I'm doing hash, bubble hash, uh, uh, sift, I do it like this, usually pre after it's uh, uh, molded, pre-pressed. So anyhow, um, but everybody has their own methods for doing things and, and you know, we build machines. We're not, uh, we're not growers here at Nug Smasher. So, um, you know, I learn something new from our customers every day, so. So I'll tell you what I know, but I don't claim to know everything. Basically put the bag in there. We, we uh, uh, space the plates apart, the size of the bag so it holds everything in. Put a little pressure on it. And we wanna make sure that that's, that extraction's not leaned over. It's coming up and down uh, straight. So we'll mess with the bag a little bit if we have to to get those changes made and then once we do that we can go ahead and press start and uh, proceed here you want the bag to come down with an accordion effect right on top of itself so it's a nice uh, round puck and the surface area measurements right that's the main thing so um, so we'll let this one happen for about two minutes and uh, then we'll go over to a uh, rectangle style we have the flour in it same bag same amount same flour We'll fold it over like that. We'll get a measurement of that with the ruler here. Um, we can actually do that now. So, oops. Um, I'm gonna go 1.8. And then this way I'm gonna go two. So 1.8 by two will be the measurement that we put in for that um, when we get to that, this next extraction. And we'll measure it at the end to see how accurate we are. I don't do a lot of uh, extractions that way with flour, so I know it'll press out a little bit uh, more. But man, look at that. Look at the extraction bottle tech style. Isn't that beautiful? Really nice. We're only about 20 something seconds into the extraction, as you can see here. And that's, uh, that's the results we're starting to see. So really nice rosin coming out. And if you guys are new to rosin, yes, with an O, it is the solventless product that you get um, by uh, uh, controlling heat and pressure from flour, which is just plain old cured bud, or from uh, bubble hash you can do. You can do high quality sift um, in many other ways. So there is no chemicals involved. It is absolutely amazing. It's the strongest of all the concentrates, um, this form and what you can refine from this form. You can also take it into a uh, THCA isolate form uh, from rosin. And which this machine has a setting, you just simply press go over to the isolation page and hit isolate and, and uh, watch a video, pack it the way uh, I show you how to pack it. And, and uh, in, the, in our screens, we typically use a 15 micron uh, screen wrapped around it inside of a uh, uh, 37 micron bag. Um, and, and then um, uh, stick it in there. So, and you can do a lot of different ways, but um, anyhow, you stick it in there and isolate it 
under a, um, you know, uh, there's settings that are in there, but it's a lot less pressure and less heat over a lot longer period of time. So the timer's coming up on this. We're gonna go ahead and, um, what happens when, the, when, it, when it, um, it expires, it releases the plates just a little bit. You can see how they come down, you know, just a little bit. You don't want them to come all the way down so it disrupts everything, but enough to get the uh, puck out so it doesn't run into the, into the plates here. That's the results there, really nice results. So we'll go ahead and uh, set this aside uh, for just a second, let it cool down, and we'll go ahead and, uh, and put the other, um, the other uh, bag, it's a rectangle shape like this, 1.8 by two inches. So what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna go over to the master extractor screen on the uh, Nug Smasher IQ, and we're gonna actually put 1.8 by two inches in to the surface area measurement, which will set the square inches for us. So I wanted to put the same amount of pressure on this as I did the uh, bottle, uh, the uh, other bag, to get the same amount of result, or you know, same consistent result like that, the same quality. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a fold, and that fold I'm gonna put up top. I'm not gonna put it on the bottom, I'm gonna put it on the top. Um, it helps with the yield. All right, I basically, uh, raise the plates to the height of this real thin bag I have here. I'm gonna slide it between the plates there. And um, at this point, it's a, um, a custom size. Uh, it's two inches by 1.8, 3.6 is the cubic area. Um, we're gonna do it for two minutes at 600 50 material PSI, still at 205 degrees, exact same settings as the other one, we change the surface area, and we're gonna hit start and proceed. And let's see what happens. That's exciting. So while that one's extracting, I'm gonna come over and, um, and uh, start to collect this one up here. Just about the perfect temperature to collect. You can see how easy the, the uh, material is to deal with, how it's coming right off the parchment paper. Parchment paper that we use is um, just plain old parchment paper, not wax paper, parchment paper. And that's, we get that from, uh, I like the Costco brand Kirkland parchment paper is what I personally use. There's uh, others out there. If you're in a pinch for it and there's not a Costco near you, make sure you get a quality name brand parchment paper. You do, the last thing you want is it to separate into the, you know, your rosin to separate into the paper. Also, never, ever, ever use wax paper. And that's the result so far. We're gonna peel it off down here by the scale guys and get an actual weight. Let's see, we got 56 minutes left and there's some rosin coming, or 50 seconds, sorry. Minutes, that'd be a hell of a long extraction, wouldn't it? And there's some nice rosin coming off the plates there with a minute left. Okay, 0.92 of a gram back from 3.5. If you guys don't know about turp files, we're gonna go ahead and log this in our turp files. It'll be under Nug Smasher, this one will. Um, you got a flower picture, didn't you? The actual picture of the bud will be in there so you can get close-ups on that. And if you don't have turp files, it's our free app, Nug Smasher app. You can get it at the Apple Store or Google Store. Um, it's an absolute must. There's a lot of great tools in there, especially if you have a Pro or an XP. Um, the calculator tools on there, which you need to have for sure. You can see what this is doing so far. So it'll be interesting to see if there's a yield difference here, what, what the story is. So that is a square. And I'm gonna make the point why we don't, don't advocate that. You see the rosin in the corners here? Makes me cry. See that? And I packed the help. That bag was packed really even and, and the corners are filled, but that's rosin in the corners there. So anyway, let's see what uh, our actual yield is here. Still looks pretty healthy. Let's 
same color so that that comes with the actual um, pressure or it appears to be real close to the same color at least does look like a lighter yield. I think it's in that bag, I'm afraid to say. But we'll have to weigh it at the end. I've been wrong before. But it'll be really interesting to see what the difference in the yield is. So how much, what is the difference from a uh, square extraction like most people just have to do and a bottle textile extraction? You'll really see why we do it. But really nice quality material there. Really good quality stuff. All right, let's take it down to the scale here. So the bottle textile was a 0.92 of a gram. And this was the rectangle. I use a nug smasher, everything tool to collect. Wow. So it's exact same flour, exact same amount, same bag. This is exactly why we advocate uh, extracting bottle textile. I like an extra quarter of a gram out, out of every three and a half uh, grams of flour, let me tell you. So the, the quality is real close to the same. It's just the yield amount's quite a bit different. So that's a bottle textile quality. And then this is the, that's the uh, rectangle quality. So the quality is almost identical. It actually looks a little lighter at the bottle tech, to be honest with you guys. There's another quarter gram there and it's, it's a little lighter. So the difference between a 22% yielder and a 28, 8, 27% yielder. So I'm definitely gonna take 27% all day long, especially if I'm moving through some weight. Um, that is a, a perfect example of why we advocate bottle textile. Both off the Nug Smasher IQ, they're, they're, what an amazing machine this is. Um, and like I said, it does have all, you know, the decarb setting, um, it does have the master extractor screen, and then also um, it has a home screen with a ramp mode, which is uh, you put a start pressure in, an end pressure, a start temperature, and an end temperature, which can be different. So for example, if I wanted this 200, material PSI and oops sorry about that and 200 material PSI and then I wanted it to end at uh, 400 uh, material PSI and then I wanted the start temperature to be you know 105 degrees and the end temperature to be 180 or whatever it was uh, and then over duration of 20 minutes or whatever I wanted to put here I could actually do that the machine will uh, accurately um, uh, ramp up the pressure and temperature uh, or down um, depending on the customer setting and this is also we have a quick uh, uh, quick button here for hash so it, it puts in some general settings start pressure of 100 material psi and pressure of 450 so you'd still have to pack your bag and then measure your bag and put that measurement in the master extractor screen that's what this is calculating off of um, but it gives you that you know that hash setting and then like i said if you have a bunch of buttered rosin we're fixing to do another isolation we have a video on the channel here um, there's an isolation setting with a start pressure of 100 and end pressure of 120 and then start temperature of 100 and ended 155 over 25 minutes so that gives us really good isolate almost every time even with junk uh, junk rosin so um, got a lot of isolate around since this machine's been around so few of those neat settings that are on the machine and a lot more to come. Turp files is going to be on the machine soon and like like I said if you don't have turp files um, go to the app store, go to the google store, uh, type in Nug Smasher, get the at Nug Smasher app on the app as turp files and that's where we're going to post this actual flower, these actual results on our turp files right now. Um, so by the time you see the video they'll be on there just look up at the Nug Smasher um, account on turp files and you'll see that that there so you can see the results plus you'll be able to get a close-up at the flowers a lot of new features on turp files you can zoom in on the pictures now there's a before and after picture so you see a picture of the flower and the rosin or isolate or whatever you're doing rosin before the isolate or 
so on and so forth. So, and also it keeps track of and helps you keep track of what strains to mess with and what not to. So um, keep that in mind. So anyway, guys, uh, appreciate everybody watching. Really appreciate your support out there. Hope you um, like the results here from the Nug Smasher IQ. Bottle Tech is definitely the way to go if you're extracting flour. Now, um, that changes for me if I'm doing uh, hash, I'll do square because you can really get it even. Where we lost here is in the corner of that bag like I was showing you guys. So um, you can uh, pre-press uh, pre the hash in a, in a nice uh, pre-pressed brick, slide it in, wrap it in a sheet, slide it in a bag. It, it really works out good. You don't lose anything there. So some uh, had some really good luck with that um, in terms of hash extraction, square and rectangle. But flower extractions every time, uh, bottle textile works. You can get more in the bag that way. It's always an equal, even uh, number, and it's always the highest yielding number. So keep that in mind when you're extracting. Um, please um, like, subscribe. If uh, something you liked today or didn't like, let us know and um, tell a friend for God's sakes. Tell a friend. And if you made it this far, use my discount code, Rosin Made Simple. That's going to save you a bunch at nugsmasher.com. Thanks everybody for watching. Next time.